In this lecture, I'm going to tell you all about themes, where to find them, and the easiest way to get them installed. So to start with themes, go to Appearance, click Themes, and I showed you these themes the, in our last lecture. WordPress comes with a few themes that come with it by default. They're free, they don't cost you anything. They are customizable to a point, and I think they're okay. I, if you uh, have some creativity and put some work into it, I think that you can make them look uh, pretty good. However, uh, I think if you're going to have a really legit, awesome website that just looks incredible, I think that's an investment that you should definitely make. For the purposes of this class, I'm actually going to show you how to use the Avada theme. It is an incredible theme and it looks fantastic. So to get a theme, my go-to place, if you go to, uh, if you're on my website still, simplecontentcreation.com, and go to my top 10 list. This is a top 10 list of my favorite apps and different things that tools that I use. If you go to the third one, the Envato, click there or just go to themeforce.net or you can go to market.envato.com. This is the most incredible resource that you will ever find if you're doing anything with a website or any kind of uh, creative marketing content. Uh, they had it's split up into several different categories: Theme Forest, Code Canyon, Video Hive. You can see the rest here. If you need anything, if you need a new theme, you can find it here. If you need, for instance, a video, uh, like a stock photo uh, video of something, go here. Images, sounds, music, you name it, it's all right here. And most of them, yes, they do cost money. However, if you were to actually hire somebody to do a lot of this stuff, it's going to cost you so much more. And so this is really my secret, not so much secret, but place that I go to get everything that I need for my website or any kind of content creation. Go back to Theme Forest, click here. I'm gonna type in Avada. This is the theme that we'll use. It's $58 for the Avada theme, and again, it's gonna be your website. This is what it's gonna represent you, so don't be cheap on this. Uh, $58 is a really small investment considering that a website like the one that we're going to create could easily, somebody would easily charge you about $15,000 to create that. And in fact, I've seen a lot of websites that have been charged that much money, and honestly, I didn't think that they were so great. So for $58, that is a bargain. Don't even think twice about the price. Avada, if you look right here, they have over 10,000 five-star ratings. Uh, so people are very, very happy with it. You can see here the sales are almost 140,000. Purchase this without thinking. Um, it is a no-brainer. Let's click here on Avada. I wanna show you, you can any of these themes you can actually click on. You can have a live preview so you can see what they actually look like and get some inspiration. And I really recommend you doing this and bookmark this page here because uh, I guarantee you'll you'll really want to come back and look at this stuff. So I'm gonna click on the live preview really quick to show you what Avada would look like and all the different options. This is just a demo that they have and I'll scroll down here. One of the new things that they came out with on Avada is they have Avada Classic, which is what you're looking at now, but they also came out with these other uh, these other themes that you can actually install, and they're really pretty incredible. You know, look at those. You can look at all the options. Uh, there's the demos up here. Look at the short codes, all the different things that you can do. Uh, we'll click right here, flip boxes, for instance. Flip boxes, really cool. You have this box with a little icon in here with some text. Flip it over, it gives you some more um, information. Click on uh, something else here. Uh, we'll just, for instance, Google Maps. Think, oh, big deal, Google Maps, that's nothing special. However, the integration that they have with it is incredibly cool, uh, where you can do all sorts of different options, where you can put your face on there, uh, different look to the map. Look at all these different styles. I mean, that is very, very cool in my opinion. So go through the short codes and all the features 
There are just limitless number of things that you can do here. Also, one of the really cool things about Avado is the fact that all of these samples that you see here, when I click here on home, all of these things you can actually download. Avada has one of the most credible websites, uh, support websites, where you can go to and there's a whole host of people answering questions, showing you how to do this stuff. You know, if you have any sort of problems installing it or any hiccups, I mean, go there and there are people willing to show you exactly how to troubleshoot any problem that you might have. But when you go to install, you can actually go to any of these different versions. So for instance, uh, this is a home version right here. And just look right there, you can look at the style. If you want this, you can actually just download it, use the, the template just as it is. You have to fill in your own pictures and text, obviously. But it gives you an idea of some of the things that you can do. One of my favorites is the parallax effect. Uh, so one page parallax and this is one of the more popular things that you'll see nowadays on websites and I think it looks fantastic. Look right here, it has this uh, playing video with this fusion slider right here. I have that for my website. I think it's really nice. Um, so you can scroll down and as you scroll you see how everything magically just pops up. Uh, you have counters. Anything that you see on this page is what you can create with Avada. That is really why I chose this particular theme, not just because um, you know everybody else loves it, but because I genuinely love this theme, and they constantly come up with new updates. It doesn't cost you a dime. I would um, definitely, not, I wouldn't think twice about getting this theme. There's a quick little preview of Avada. Let's go back to the Envato Marketplace. So once you've decided to uh, buy this, just go ahead and you'll have to sign up, okay? It's pretty standard fare. Add it to your cart, go ahead and download it. After you've purchased and downloaded the theme, wherever you saved it to, that's what you're gonna do next. Is we're going, I'm going to show you how to actually install that theme. Let's go back to your dashboard really quick to add any new theme. Now, I already have it installed, okay? You can see that right here just assume that that is not there go to add new theme or you can go up here add new click on that and then up here upload theme and then you're going to choose a file now the file that you downloaded from Avada was a fairly large one probably 240 250 megabytes and it's a zip file if you look here it is asking for a zip format. That 250 megabyte download is not the zip file that you want. So let me show you really quick. We'll go to my, I save it to my desktop and I already unzipped it, which you want to do. You want to unzip it first, click on the folder, click on Avada theme. And if you go there, you'll see that you have two different zip files the child theme and the Avada theme. You want to select the Avada theme. Once you do that, click open and then install now. That will run for a few moments. It'll get everything ready. You'll get a confirmation message. It'll say everything is all set. It will probably ask you to install and activate a few of the plugins like the fusion slider and the revolution slider. Go ahead and do that. And once you do that, when you go back here to your themes, you should see installed. From there, you are all set and ready to go. Really quick, one more time, when you go to add new theme, make sure that you do not select, we'll go upload theme, but make sure that you don't select the downloaded zip file. Unzip it. Go to the file, Avada, and then wherever you unzipped it to, click on Avada theme, and then click on Avada zip. And that is what you want. If you look down here, it's about 12 megabytes. You don't want that big one because it will not work. Again, just click open, install now. It'll run its course, 
you should be good to go from there. And that is how you'll install themes. If in the future Avada is not your, if you don't like it, again, you can always go back to the Envato Marketplace. There are so many different themes out there. They're all really great. If you need any recommendations on any other themes, you can always send me an email. But we're going to stick with Avada for these purposes, and that is how it's done.